Ed, let's start out. I, I know you wrote um, an article, Things I Think I Know About the Browns. Take me through those and, and uh, what you have uh, gleaned from mandatory minicamp, if you will. Yeah, uh, the first one, obviously, every year, of course, we have our camp darlings, right? And uh, it's been, you know, uh, Donovan Peoples-Jones a couple of years. Uh, Jakeem, Jakeem Grant, even last year before he got hurt, was kind of uh, highlighting uh, and lighting up camp a little bit. But even before camp this year, we kind of have a darling emerging as uh, Marquise Goodwin was uh, putting up uh, – long bombs and looking very fast for a guy in his 11th year in OTAs and uh, a very impressive guy, uh, even in the interviews, you know, uh, a veteran um, who really seems to have all that speed. Like, you know, there was all that talk about the Browns wanting to acquire McCole Hardman, but I mean, I feel like they got somebody similar speed wise. He still seems to have it, the giddy up and, uh, you know, even with – he's a professional receiver. He had four touchdowns last year in, in limited attempts. So, you know, he still was productive for for um, Seattle. So you, you expect him, uh, you know, to fall off at some point, but he still seems to be burning out there. And he did a lot of good stuff in OTAs this week as well in mandatory minicamp, a lot of highlights. So he's kind of the early camp darling or the leader in the clubhouse, at least for me. And uh, impressive guy as far as being a veteran, being a professional, but also having that moxie and, and kind of swagger to him uh, at his uh, elder age for an NFL player. 